right there. I just went to a, a, a painting place. And that's not a way to get there. Hello, is this a way to get there? No. Bro, how do you get there? This place is so confusing, my head hurts. Can I swim there? <laughs> Let me see if I can swim there. Hey, Cause... who's up for a bite? Oh my god. No, seriously, how did you get there? I am so confused. I don't like being confused now. I want to see if I can swim. Because look at that, it looks so pretty. Oh. Gold needle. Oh, gold needle. Oh, oh. Is there a boat that I can take to go over to where I need to go to? Because I'm confused and I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I really don't. And it's right there. How'd it get there? It won't let me swim. <laughs> hey, yo! Why is it down there? Hello? I need somebody to help me to get over there because I really don't know how to get over there. I can't swim. Over there. Game won't let me swim over there. Holy shit! It's going to be morning by the time I get over there. Oh, this place is confusing the fuck out of me. I'm not... I'm not into this... Confusion shit, honestly. Because the only way I went down there, it was a fucking painting in the yes, way. This is truly caring soul like you no wonder you get along like wildfire oh, we do have I much in common like our tales of picking up after the prince and I could be of service I'll be so sad <laughs> hello can you at least talk to me sir I need to know how to get down there Cause I don't know shit. <laughs> I have no idea where to go, bro. Oh my god. Brody. Is there any way? Anyway, to get over there. You're starting to get the hang of it. The hang of what? You know, looking after yourself, being one of the common folk. Well, in a lot of ways, it's easier it's right than being there. Royalty. <laughs> hey, yo, somebody need to tell me where to go, bro. Cause I'm lost at this point of time. And I don't like being lost in the point of time, really. It's about to be morning. I don't know where to go. I don't know how to get there. Everything's confusing and I don't like it. Hello, sir. How, do you know how to get over? Oh, no. You never stop snapping away, do you? Nope. These shots of you will sell for a pretty gill. 
who's gonna buy them? Well, there's bound to be some suckers out there. Anybody if not, know well, how to get over I'll there? Still have the memories. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to push you out the way. I went to the doors. I went to the over there. I went downstairs, saw a painting. That was it. I pressed all buttons. Nothing happened. So I'm kind of fucking stuck here. It won't let me go through any of the doors to get there. It won't even let me jump off the... Hey, yo, there's a bow over there. I'm sorry, guys, move. <laughs> Maybe I need to use that boat. Oh my god, this is gonna be an hour episode of me not figuring out what the hell to do at this point. It's going to be that type of episode, yep. Yep, it is. The entire city's built like a maze. Take care not to get lost. Whoever said it's a maze, please. It is, but I don't like it. Don't get me wrong, this place is beautiful. It's really beautiful. But I'm lost as shit. I'm fucking lost. <laughs> There's a portal on me! <laughs> Y'all know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fucking cheat. Yep. Go on YouTube. Figure out what the fuck I need to do. <laughs> no, seriously, how the fuck do I have how to go over there, yo? Look how beautiful this is. This is romantic. Very romantic. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. I cannot believe. Welcome to Accordo, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Welcome, Armor, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. Hmm. Ah, but of course. <laughs> you were only a babe at the time. Hey, yo, buddy. Hey. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city.
So you see lots of NIFs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they fell the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Well, I guess I need to talk to... Oh, she looks grumpy. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times. But I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. What? Hey, <laughs> Iggy! So, care to take a cruise? Iggy just came running at me like Sonic, bro. He's faster than Sonic. This boat ride is so romantic. Let's play some music. to hear it. Oh, this is a fishing spot. Oh shit, yes. I haven't gone fishing in a long ass time. It's making me cry. Whee! Yo, if I had a boat ride like this, I will probably have a panic attack and flip over the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hey, it's true. I will have panic attacks if I'm on the boat and I see some fish and, some, and fuck sharks. I don't, I don't, I don't do that, yo. There's some weird shit in the ocean. I ain't fucking with it. There goes Pronto with his camera. 
He took a what type of pose is that, Pronto? Oh my god, I just that's really sexy. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh um, um, my god, shit. <laughs> How about a ridela on the gondola? Where should we stay tonight? Get out of the way. <laughs> hey, go ahead. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory wherein the king may walk. You can now sail the open seas in a royal vessel. Board the boat. Oh. Hey yo, I need some sleep first. Hey yo. Greetings. Very well. Ah, oh, fuck. Everything. <laughs> Welcome back. Will you be requiring a room? I want to ask him for a ball. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I just. I'm okay, I'm good. Oh wait, I'm going upstairs. <laughs> I'm supposed to get the fuck out of the well, place. Guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. Do you see that knocked? What is it? Let's grab a bite. Eh? Hey? Oh, 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 this makes me nervous sometimes. See? <laughs> Made it. This is once you once the thing begins, you're unable to return to the city. <laughs> Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first. Um, oh shit. Uh, Lord have mercy. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation. So I decided to extend my own. Though circumstances have changed, both the king and the oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. 
The oracle is a risk, one we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Tell me, what happened? I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. It would be a disaster if a battle took place in the city. Indeed, we must be prepared to evacuate our citizens. No doubt about it. We're in the midst of making plans, and it was to discuss your involvement in them that I called you here. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. All right. All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Well, that puts us in a bind. Likewise, let me rephrase. When the rite concludes, you are responsible for the Oracle's welfare. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Thanks. You've made the right decision. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. I choose the right choice is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. I have confidence you will do well by us, and you can expect the same in return. <laughs> oh shit! That's oh, oh. that's good. It's a good thing. I did a good thing, guys. I did something good. Usually I'd be picking bad choices, but look what I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. 
You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. Man, I'm ready. I'm ready to get emotional. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready to get emotional, bro. Let's do this. Actually, I'm not ready to be a emo emotional. This is not right. During the rite, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Ah, oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, we'll do. And try not to die, I have no money. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to at least sell something to get something back. Luna, beautiful, damn. I'm mad, actually. <laughs> if worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you. Huh? Now wait a fuck a minute. Please, what the shit? Stop aiming your guns at me, bitch. Move. <laughs> Yo, she moved. Oh my god. <laughs> She didn't even look scared. She's like, bitch, move your gun away from my face. <laughs> uh, Yuna. Luna. I said Yuna. Oh my god. I was watching some anime w with some girl named Yuna. And, and uh, let's say she was beautiful. <laughs> You guys too? Of course. <sighs> Talk about a crowd. Like the whole city's come to watch. I'm all the way I can go do. Damn, she's beautiful. What the fuck? Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach 
beyond these walls. For slowly, but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror, hatred, and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. They smiled at each other. I was smiling too. Shit. <laughs> oh. Knocked. The umpire's here. I can see him. Dropships are closing in on the board. Look for a vantage point to approach them. Okay. Look after the citizens. We got them covered. So, it begins. Yep, this shit's gonna begin. It's beginning. Let's go. Let's fight. Let's kick ass and take names. Let's go. Boy, I thought it was gonna. <laughs> it's loading. Let's go. I got a headache. Let's go. Time to evacuate the citizens because this shit's gonna be good. I'm sorry. <laughs> you enjoying the <laughs> It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. Oh, 
die. <laughs> Bitch, 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 know that the king of kings is to drive the darkness from our star <laughs> Mom, Luna. Take that, Luna. <laughs> Fuck up her dress. It is in receiving mercy that men offer praise, and in shedding and grace. grace that the gods solicit worship. You thought you were gonna bite her. I vow, the king will prove himself worthy. Ha <laughs> ha! 
bitch. I need your power! Sir? Sir, you back off. Now, about that ring. On second thought, you let him have it. <laughs> and do remind him about the crystal. I am not. Oh, Prince, your bride awaits. I will pass the ring to the rightful king. When the prophet 
prophecy is fulfilled. All in thrall to darkness shall know peace. He did not just... Give me power and you didn't give me power. Okay. Yeah. 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 You got bro. You're not giving me what I want. Huh? That what you want? Huh? You want to die, bro? Better give me power. What's up, man? What's up?
Okay. Now I'm about to cry. Because this time. motherfucker. Bad move. Uh -huh. And fucked up her dress. Noctis? Uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. 
Man, this game got me all fucked up. Back with us. I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. A oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna? She has passed. Umbra left that for you. Oh, this, oh, this, hurt. oh, this hurt me. Oh, this game is gonna hurt my soul. <laughs> uh, man, I'm really, I'm really crying. This whole chapter hurts. I can't see anything. Oh, sorry. Where's the tissue? Well, I need it at the end of the chapter. I can't play this anymore. 